Hey guys, I'm Cody, editor by Past Life Pro, and for this tutorial, we're going to take a look at Distance Blur in the latest public CUDA shader, this one being the CUDA V6.0.82 Beta Ultra. We moved on from the V6.0.73 Beta Ultra, so if you do need any help updating previous adjustments to this version, you can always ask me in the comment section down below. Anyways, let's get started. First, have the CUDA shader unzipped and ready to work with on the desktop. Access the folder, access the shaders folder, and locate composite2.fsh. Using Notepad++, open it up. From here, scroll down to line 20. By default, the distance blur is disabled, so to activate it once again, you'd be expected to replace false with true. Before we exit back into Minecraft, I'd like to show you one parameter in particular. This one having the ability to adjust the start distance of the blurring effect. Let's take a look. Find line 74. As it clearly reads next to the value, larger numbers will have the distance blur begin to disrupt your vision at a further distance. Smaller numbers would have the effect begin much closer to your character. For my personal preference, I really do like the default value of 100.0. So, I'm going to go with that for this tutorial. Save, and let's check this out in Minecraft. As with all my CUDA shader tutorials, versions in time will change, so if you have any questions, then I'd be happy to help you out in the comment section down below. If this CUDA shader tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys!